if I got invited to my 10-year high school reunion. I'm conflicted. I mean, I don't know if I really want to go. It's in Detroit. You know, I grew up there, but I just honestly don't know what I have in common with those people anymore. I mean, or with anyone, really. I mean, they'll all have husbands and wives and children and houses and dogs, and, you know, they'll have made themselves a part of something, and they can talk about what they do, and what am I going to say? I killed the president of Paraguay with a fork. How have you been? I just think it'll be depressing. It'll be depressing. Shouldn't you be taking notes or something? I'm not taking notes, Martin, because I'm not your doctor. Please don't start with that stuff again. Martin, I'm emotionally involved with you. How are you emotionally involved with me? I'm afraid of you. You're afraid of me. And that constitutes an emotional involvement, and it would be unethical for me to work with you under those circumstances. Don't you think maybe you're just upset because I told you what I do for a living, and you got upset, and you're letting it interfere with our dynamic? Whoa. Martin, you didn't tell me what you did for a living. For yes, I did. You didn't tell me what you did for a living for four sessions. Then you told me. And I said, I don't want to work with you. And yet you come back every week at the same time. That's a difficulty for me. On top of that, if you've committed a crime or if you're thinking about committing a crime, I have to tell the authorities. I know the law, OK? But I don't want to be withholding. I'm very serious about this process. And I know where you live. Oh, and I see. That wasn't a nice thing to say. That wasn't designed to make me feel good. That's a kind of a not too subtle intimidation. And I, uh, I get filled with anxiety when you talk about something like that. Come on, I mean, that's. Come on. I was just kidding, all right? The thought never crossed my mind. You did think of it, Martin. You thought of it, and then you said it. And now I'm left with, uh, with the aftermath of that, thinking I got I to gotta be creative in a really interesting way now, or Martin's going to blow my brains out. You're holding me hostage here. That's not right. I just want to work. OK, there's some issues that I need to work on in my life. I've read your books, your bestsellers on the top 20. They were both ghosts written, Martin. What, The Annihilation of Death? Yeah. Kill Who, A Warrior's Dilemma? I read it, it was New York Times top 20. Well, I don't, I don't know what to say. Well, what do you say to other patients, you know? I don't know, how does it work? Ask me how I'm feeling. How do you feel? I'm feeling uneasy, man. Um, I'm just dispassionate, I'm bored. I'm, it's hard to stay in a good mood. I've had problems with work, you know, concept execution stuff and just ill at ease. Well, look, Martin, I don't want to suggest anything that might be uncomfortable for you, but you might consider, just consider the possibility that part of your problem, part of the thing that's making you so miserable is the angst over killing a lot of people. Maybe I just put it in the background there. Come on. If I show up at your door, chances are you did something to bring me there. OK? I don't care about that stuff. You don't care about what stuff? You know, morality. Hmm. I don't want to talk about work, because I don't think necessarily what a person does for a living reflects who he is. So what do we do? We talk about dreams, or what's next? What's next? What's the score here? We'll talk about dreams. We can talk about dreams. It's your nickel. Sure. Um, I had another one about Debbie. That girl you're obsessed with? Don't you think obsessed is a strong word? Uh, recurring dreams of loss and pain for 10 years featuring the same person? Yeah, maybe that's a bit excessive. Um, I had one where I was uh, that television mechanical rabbit. You know, with the... The, the... the battery bunny. Yeah, I was the bunny. That sounds like a very, very depressed dream. Really? Yes. Why? Martin, it's a terrible dream. It's a depressing dream to dream about that rabbit. It's got no brain. It's got no blood. It's got no anima. It just keeps banging on those meaningless symbols endlessly and going and going and going. Time is up. T time's up already? Do we want to do a half a session? We just pretend like we have a normal doctor-patient relationship. I'll ask you a piece of advice. You give me an answer. You know, advice, should I go to the reunion? Yes, yes, get out of town. Thank you. Go see some old friends, have some punch, visit with what's her name? Debbie. Debbie, don't kill anybody for a few days. See what it feels like. I'll give it a shot. No, no, don't give it a shot. Don't shoot anything. 